Now we are going to revise unit 4, social issues and environment. What have we seen so far? We have seen unit 1, environment, ecosystem, biodiversity, that is over. Unit 2, environmental pollution, that is over. Unit 3, natural resources and the environment, that is also over. Now unit 4 is a very small unit, but some terms are very very important. I have listed the majorly important terms here. Number 1 is you must know what is sustainability. Sustainability is the ability of the present generation to meet its own needs without compromising the needs of the future generation. That you should remember. And once you remember sustainability, you should also remember what is sustainable development. There are three aspects to sustainable development. There is social sustainability, economic sustainability and environmental sustainability. So the three sustainabilities you should mention as a triangle. And there are three aspects are also, they are also called the three pillars of sustainable development. When you talk about sustainability, you should also be aware of the sustainable methods. Some of these methods you have come across in unit 3 where you will conserve the natural resources. For example, conservation of natural resources, such as water resources involve sustainable methods such as rainwater harvesting or watershed management. Those are two examples of very good sustainable methods which lead to the sustainable development of water resources. Then you have what is called as urbanization. Urbanization is the practice of people moving from the rural areas to the urban areas in search of job opportunities or a better livelihood because the conditions are not so favorable in the rural areas. And within the urban area, if there is a rapid spread, then you call it as an urban sprawl. Then you have certain terms such as consumerism. Consumerism means uh, over exploitation of resources for consumptive purposes. For example, if a man requires only one bottle of water, he ends up buying six bottles of water and uses only two bottles of water. The remaining three bottles of water are simply wasted. And that aspect which makes a human being consume more than what he requires and every time something is consumed it places a huge burden on the natural resource that is called as consumerism and please bear in mind that there are many modern concepts which are not exactly coming in the syllabus but things that you should be aware of such as carbon footprinting, ecological footprinting and life cycle assessment. These are things that you should be majorly aware of. Then you have the environmental impact assessment for any engineering project. We have an environmental impact assessment which is done before the project, during the project and after the project. Okay, so that is out of the way. And finally, the most important aspect of the fourth unit is the environmental law and legislation. Now, I have a very simple way for you to remember this. You just remember it in three formats. Number one, Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, mainly air pollution, water pollution. Number two, Protection Act of Wildlife. And number three, Conservation. So, the Forest Conservation Act comes under this. So divide the environmental laws and legislation like this. It will be easier for you to learn about the different aspects. And of course for the entire revision you are always welcome to look into my video lectures in this particular channel.